Hi everybody, I'm Manorama and this is Sanskrit Studies and Luminous Soul Corner and I want to welcome you here. This is the Sanskrit Studies Word of the Week. So welcome. Today the word that we're focusing on is pronounced Abhaya. Can you say that? Abhaya. So you don't want to accent anywhere. Sometimes I hear students say Abhaya and they'll accent on the second syllable, Abhaya, but you don't want to say that. Each syllable is light, so, and you push the breath out on the bha, so you're going to say it like this, abhaya. Try that, abhaya. Very good. So what does abhaya mean? Well, abhaya means fearlessness, it means fearlessness. So how do we work with this in our practice? Does it mean we just run towards, you know, something that we're afraid of, or is it a little more subtle? Well. I would venture to say that it's a little more subtle. How can you work with fearlessness in your practice and in your life? Um, in the context of everybody's life, we all have things that um, give us fear or difficulty or things that are unknown to us, places where we don't know where we're going to land. And they bring up bhaya for us. They bring up fear or fearfulness. So what you want to do is start to work to grow your capacity to be with the unknown. Because the principle in yoga of Brahman, try saying that word with a very slight pr push of the breath, but not a kh sound, say Brahman very softly. So Brahman is um, the principle of limitless expansion. And that is also the unknown. You're not going to know it on a mental level, but you will feel it deep within you. So as yogis in training and yoginis in training, we have to grow our capacity to be with the unknown. And the life, the manifest life, all the lives that we all have, they are helping us to grow that. Some things we have are known and other things we have are unknown and we want to grow our capacity. So how do we work with this fear, fearlessness? So the way to work with it is to start to first become conscious that everybody has to work with places that are unknown. And what you want to do is consider other times in your life when you had fear or you had doubt or you had concerns and ask yourself, how did you cross over that? How did the universe help you cross over that? Feel your feet underneath you. I know it sounds like a very funny, simple thing, but you want to just feel your feet right there underneath you. And that can give you a lot of support. Also connect with your breath. So as you consider the story or the circumstance that you're working with in your life, I want you to just connect with your breathing and allow the situation to be as it is. As Ram Das always says, and I love this, he says the only suffering is the resistance to the what is. The only suffering is the resistance to the what is. So fearlessness is connected with our capacity to be with the what is. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. I look forward to seeing you soon in class. Be blessed and remember, you are a luminous soul. Mwah. Be blessed, everybody. Bye.